Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding ranking most active guests, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and this question has been asked in Airbnb interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, rank the guests based on number of messages they have exchanged with the host. Guests with the same number of messages as other guests should have the same rank. Do not skip rankings if the preceding ranks are identical. So if you know about SQL, right, uh, then this should this line should strike in your mind. So there are three ways to rank things in SQL, right? Uh, row number, rank, dense rank. And the very definition of dense rank is this. So in, Py in Python, like we need to find out how we can do this. But in MySQL, we are very clear that we need to use dense rank, right? Output the rank, guest ID, and number of total messages they have sent, order by the highest number of total messages first. So we are given a data frame called Airbnb contacts and our expected output is a pandas data frame as well with three different columns, ranking, ID, guest, and number of messages. And whichever guest has an equal number of messages, they should be ranked equal, right? And you don't need to skip a rank. Okay, so if we inquire about these this data frame Airbnb contacts, right? So you have a lot of information, uh, ID of the guest, unique IDs of the guest, host, listing, like when they check in, check out, number of messages, exchange, right? A number of guests, etc. So basically what we need to do is we can, you know, group by the ID guest, right? Group by the ID guest and calculate the sum of the messages, right? So basically that is going to give us, okay, so for a particular guest, how many total messages worth exchange? change by all the host right so what we can do is we can start with right okay so uh, airbnb contacts dot group by right group by the id guest column and since we need this as a separate column not an index so we write as index is equal to false right and then once we have that then in the column n messages right from the column n messages we need to calculate the sum right let me run this let's see what we are getting so now if you look at it right so for each of the guests we need the to we have the total number of messages exchanged with all the hosts let's sort by you know sort by the number of messages so that you know we have the maximum number of messages at first so we can write dot sort values right and then by which column we are sorting n messages right and in decreasing manner so we write ascending is equal to ascending is equal to false okay let me run this let's see what we are getting so now if you look at it right so you have the very like very similar information at our expected output but the only thing that we are missing is the ranking column right then what we can do is let's store this in a data frame called df right so df is equal to this and then let's make another column right called ranking because that is the name of the column that we need in the output so we can make a ranking right and how do we need to make this call column is basically from the data frame take the n messages right take the n messages column and then we need to rank it right using a dense method so we can write dot rank right and then dot rank basically what it will sort this column by default in ascending manner and it can take uh you know a keyword argument method which can have values first min max dense average etc by default it takes average i have discussed about you know what these different things signified in one of my previous videos uh yeah so here what we do is we want to rank this by you know uh, the ones with have the highest number of total messages first so basically in descending manner so we write ascending is equal to false right and in which method again it says like we do not have to skip rankings if the preceding rankings are identical so it should be a dense method right so we write dense okay now if i return the data frame let's see what we are getting so now if you see right you have the id guest messages and ranking and there is no skipping and it started from the very top right now the only thing that is remaining to do in this is the we need to rearrange these columns so what we can do is we can just supply a list of columns in the order that we want so we want the ranking first then we want the id guest right if we compare by this if then we want the id guest and then finally we want the number of messages okay let me run this let's see what we are getting 
Okay, so now we have our output is exactly same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. Again, very simple question. Now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. Okay, if you look at it, we have the same question. Expected output is same as well. Like just the name of the third column is you know change from n messages to sum of n messages if you see the table airbnb contact it has like same column same information etc so here again what we can do is from this table called airbnb contacts we can group by right group by the id guest and then return the id guest right return the id guest and sum n messages column right and alias this as sum n messages right because that is what we have in the output right uh, let me run this let's see what we are getting so now if you see like you have the id guess sum of n messages then what we can do is we can store this in a common table expression so we can write with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this common table expression right we need to have both the columns so select star and then we need to make a third column which is basically a rank right so now again we since we already discussed in the starting of the video we need to use the dense rank method here so dense rank right and then since this is a window function we need to write over clause and there is no partition because we only need to you know order by the number of messages in decreasing manner right so we write order by some n messages in decreasing manner right and then alias this as ranking right because that is what we have in the output let me run this let's see what we are getting so now if you look at it again we have like the information just we need to you know correct the order of the column but our information is exactly same as the expected output then what we can do is we can store this in another common table expression right so we can write cte2 as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses as well right and then finally from this common table expression we can just you know rearrange the column so we can write select and then first we need the ranking column then we need the id guest column and finally we need the sum of and messages column okay let me run this okay so now we have this right so our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know find the total number of messages exchanged by each of the guests like we did that by grouping by the guest id guest and then what we did was we used dense rank function both in my, uh, python as well as mysql to rank you know so that we don't skip the rankings if the preceding rankings are identical and then once we had that then we just rearrange the columns so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video